It's just insane. I just don't know how else to describe it. I'm Jess and this is my boyfriend Jasper and last year we sold our house and quit our jobs to travel the world. In the last episode we boarded our first one-way flight to Dubai and today we are in Dubai visiting some of the most iconic parts of the city. The world's tallest building, the second largest mall in the world and we are teleported into the year 2071 at the Dubai Museum of the Future. I work for the Museum of the Future. Pretty cool though isn't it? Yeah it's pretty sick. Mad. Never seen anything like it. Today we're going to be doing some of the touristy things here in Dubai and we're starting off the day by going to the Museum of the Future. The Museum of the Future opened fairly recently in February 2022. It was made to showcase futuristic and innovative ideas and it's essentially a place where it can give you a glimpse into the future and the whole museum is set in 2071 which is just insane so I'm so excited to go see what it's like but first things first we need to get some food because I am absolutely starving and I've also you're starving as well Let's go. one thing as well i'm dressing a little bit modestly i've got like some trousers on i've got my shoulders covered because we're also going to go to the dubai mall and it's the one place everyone says that you need to just dress a little bit more modestly the rest of dubai you basically see people wearing everything like you can essentially just wear what you want but the mall is just the one place everyone says make sure you have your shoulders and knees covered so that is why i am dressed like this a little bit because it's really hot outside so hopefully we should be all good but we're basically heading over to downtown dubai now and yeah i'm just so excited but breakfast first it's another beautiful day in dubai the weather has been so good i can't believe this is the view from our hotel room like it, it's just insane like all the skyscrapers i can't get over it We're heading over to the JBR area. Is that where you saw tons of brunch places? Yeah, there is quite a few there. And at Blue Waters, there's quite a few. So we're just walking over there. It's only like 50 minute walk from our hotel, which is perfect. So we'll see what there is there. It is so hot though. Like walking in the sun, I am sweating. No. <laughs> Getting a acai bowl. Again. Again, that's so good. Let me get two of the works, 60 now. I'll have strawberry, blueberry, granola, uh, and peanut butter, please. Same diabetes? Same, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. How is it? 10 10 again. So good. Mmm, that's just unreal. It's so good. If you ever walk past an oat berry acai, is that what's called oak berry? Oak berry, yeah. You need to get one. It's so good. We're currently on the way to the metro, and we were gonna get an Uber to downtown Dubai, but we were just like, let's do the metro because I feel like whenever we go to different cities, it's quite nice to yeah, try out the public transport. Yeah, exactly. So that is what we're gonna do now. We've just got to navigate our way to the metro station which I think is about a 15 minute walk so shouldn't be too bad. We don't have our booking for the Museum of the Future till 2 o'clock, so we've got a bit of time, so we might have a little wander around and then head to that after.
was wondering why don't the sharks eat all the other fish? <laughs> we don't get it. Mad. Never seen anything like it. We are now leaving the mall. We were literally only there for like half an hour. And we're now gonna go to the Museum of the Future. So I just can't wait to see what it actually looks like in person. Yeah, I've seen so many bad. photos and videos and it looks unreal. So just to see it in person, I think it's gonna be really cool. What are we getting fit with all this walking? Sorry. Honestly, the amount of walking that we've done the last couple of days, well, literally yesterday, because we only got here yesterday. We're gonna be so fit by the end of this. <laughs> It's really cool though, I love the item. It is cool. Now we're in the observatory. What should we observe? <laughs> I know, it's quite a lot. Um, there's so much. What do you rate the experience so far out of 10? Oh, like an 8? Yeah, I'd say like an 8 or 9 because it's just like unlike anything else I've ever been to before. Yeah. Like I can't imagine anything like that. It's crazy. Well, this walking is really taken out of us. So oh. we're currently laying down. <laughs> chill zone in the chill zone i've never walked so much in my life i swear you found the roof let me oh, show you the roof the vibrations which moves the oh, water which changes the reflection this is what we're currently looking at we're really getting our steps in yeah we are <laughs> does this give anyone the fear of holes because it does for me <laughs> ew i work for the museum of the future do you have any questions for me I've been told why artificial intelligence standards are too high. So we're currently outside, just come to like a little viewing deck and it is so cool. Crazy city. It is really crazy here. I feel like every time I just like walk around like wherever we've gone in Dubai has just been insane like yeah. every single thing I'm just like whoa this is crazy because it's just like another level it is a lot of people say that it's kind of comparable to Las Vegas um I've I don't never been, but yeah, well, yeah I I, we've never been so I wonder what you guys think but yeah but you see the clips of it and it is very like everything's grand yeah luxury. what did you rate it oh it was pretty good we got through it pretty quick. Yeah, we were only in there an hour. No, it's like an hour and 15, I think. But if you like stopped and read every single thing, it says Lamb it will take about like two hours. Yeah. Um, but overall, I it's really good. It. It's yeah. Like, it's unlike anything else. So. Yeah, I've never been to something like that. Yeah. So I definitely recommend going there. How much? 65 dirham? 65, no, 65 pounds for both of us, English okay. pound. So not too bad. So now we are heading back to the mall. We're going to go see the bird. We're hopefully going to 
we're gonna stay Sit there until about a week. That's what I'm yeah thinking. we're starving as well <laughs> um but we're also gonna stay there until the fountain show is on which is on at around six o'clock i think it starts so i think oh, we've got, got a couple of hours a do some shopping Probably and watch the fountain like show a, sit down for like an hour or something i fancy a nice iced coffee, coffee. yeah, coffee. yeah. Spanish latte. Let's see what it tastes like. That's actually so good. Really? So nice. You can get any like sugar syrup in it, but she said this one is sweet. So you basically just take the percentage of. No, you basically pick what coffee you but want you in it. But you can pick the percentage, I didn't. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going for. Mm -hmm. It's strong. Yeah. Like smooth, that makes it really Lovely. Pretty cool. So Pretty big. <laughs> Literally makes every building look tiny. Alright, we're just having a look at the barge and I didn't realise that the barge is 828 metres tall. Like that is insane. But it only took six years to build and opened in 2010. Um, I can't believe six years to build that huge thing. Yeah, I've mad. I just feel like everything I say, I'm always like, oh my god, this is so crazy, but it literally it's just insane. I just don't know how else to describe it. I need to expand my vocabulary because I'm literally just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna go get some food and then we'll come back when it starts like lighting up and then the fountain show will be on. So we'll come back and see it when it's, when it's dark. So we just got a burrito bowl to share. What's it like? Good. Very nice. Mmm. Well, nice, isn't it? Mm. Burrito bowl. It was so, yeah, the burrito bowl was really nice. We're just trying a place called Tex Mex. Something like that. I don't know, some Mexican place, but we're basically just in the food court in the mall. And it's huge. Like, it's all kind of like fast foody bits this bit. But um, there's so much choice. Yeah, it's corny. You just grab your food and then just go sit wherever yeah. you want. There's lots of restaurants like outside of the mall and like near the fountains Fountain, yeah. and everything. But yeah, this is perfect if you just want something quick to eat. Um, so yeah, we just shared this burrito bowl. I'm still a little bit hungry this. We might go get some chips or something. And I want to try a Cinnabon. Oh yeah, Jasper really wants to try a Cinnabon. So we'll see what that's like. What one are you going to get? I don't know. I don't know what they're Ooh. It was warm. Classic Cinnabon. Cinnabon has been acquired. Is it Cinnabon? Cinnabon? I don't know. Looks well good. Soft. Is it good? Mm. It's so soft. Mm. So we're gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna try some. Mmm. Oh, good. Mm. We're going to go find the ice ring and then we're going to go watch the fountain show and also the light show as well, which will be really good. It's just so much to see here. So much. So we visit the world's highest 360 degree infinity pool in the world. I will see you in the next episode.